We are in the finals of Speed Duel Showdown number 20, Hef Def with the Amazon Burn deck. I get to slap a Swordswoman right on the top of this thumbnail against uh, DB Grinder, second time in finals with Moth. Uh, Hef Def also using David's digging for gold. Let me see that. Let's go to main screen. DB Grinder is boss with FAMAS. Starting with two set there from him. Then we have an L set from Hef Def. Doing a little, uh, little defensive start. Just kind of feel each other out. No, uh, no shortage of Zomas today. So we are on the end phase with sets. Let's see if we don't see one creep out. Crawl out of the back row. Ah, lag. Yeah, we did see one crawl out of the depths of the back row. There is a Zoma. and phase Zoma, sure. With, uh, with a lot of Zomas and, and Nightmare Wheels, there are also a lot of Cosmic Cyclones. We'll see if uh, DB Grinder has something like that in store. There we're going to main phase one. Have to have clear monster advantage here. Oh my gosh, Swordswoman and flip the Nudoria and Zoma in attack. And we have an Onslaught. This is technically, uh, this is lethal if all of them go through. DB Grinder 2 set. Being forced to uh, blow something like Cosmic Cyclone here is pretty good for Heftep, especially since uh, DB Grinder is uh, going to have to take 1,000 there. Thinking on Nidoria Summon. So flip summon Nidoria is good. Going into battle. And uh, we're swinging with Zoma first. There is the Cosmic Cyclone coming out from Dueling with Grinder. That is going to put him to 3,000. Zoma is banished. Not bad. Certainly not bad. If you're going to hit something with Cosmic Cyclone against this deck, I suppose Zoma's a good hit. You might want to hit Village so you don't see that uh, nonsense with Swordswoman after Swordswoman coming out. But, you know, you're faced with three monsters staring you down the barrel. Cosmic Cyclone and Zoma's fine. Book of Moon on the Swordswoman. So we are going to take the 1,200 from Midoriya with the 1,000 from Cosmic Cyclone. Puts DB Grinder all the way down to 18. Little scary. Parasite Paranoid. Looks like we're going on Midoriya. See if there's a response. We do have the Book of Moon. That's going to go right from hand to grave. We do get the Shuffle back. Constellation Prize in the Moth deck. Get that Shuffle back in. We know the sets are Nidoria and Swordswoman. Two set pass. DB Grinder all the way down to 18, though. FDF's deck can get pretty aggressive. Two Swords from Nidoria. Unfortunately, no Village, but that's okay. We just need two of these to go through. Seeing if there's a uh, resolution on Summon. Any response? No response. We, we are seeing Floodgates also pretty consistently in this, uh, at least tonight. Thinking on swinging with Swordswoman. Wow. We're going to take that. We're going all the way down to 300. Book of Moon, the other Swordswoman. Not the best defense here, unfortunately. Book of Moon and Doria. Oh, so you're not getting rid of anything. You have to set up some sort of locking mechanism. you got to, like, Nightmare Wheel them. Do something to prevent them from attacking, because only one of those has to go through next turn. Um, DB Grinder also did put themselves in Nightmare Wheel range, which Hefteft does have, I believe. I think we saw last game. Yeah, we're going into uh, game two. Have to have taken it pretty clean over uh, DB Grinder. It's, it's amazing um, seeing that Book of Moon play on the Parasite as a response, uh, how that just, like, wins games. Because if Moth came out, we were going to have a whole different problem. Have to have would have been able to kind of run Swordswoman into Moth to uh, get some attack damage in. Like, actually, maybe Have to have would have been all right, because that's 2,000 to Swordswoman, because they're taking the battle damage. 2,000 to uh, 3,500 Moth. All right, looks like Heftef's already done siding, but this is kind of where we see 
some more things to play around the burn aspect. All right, game two, Hef Deft on the cusp of winning. This would be the first. Uh, this would be the first showdown that Hef Deft would win. Um, I believe we've seen them in top three before. This would be the first win. So let's see what we got. Starting with two set and a pass. QB grinder, L set and pass. Oh, full set. Hard pass for half that. Interesting. End phase Zoma. Do we see an end phase Zoma? We do. Battle phase. Looks like we're just swinging with Zoma here. Trying to get some initial chip damage yet. 1800 drops half that all the way down to 22. Full set from Hefteft in the Lava Golem. Good side. Good side from Hefteft. I believe that's a side. Unless you main deck it. Yeah, and of course, that's the Man Eater bug. You, you can tell when you don't flip it right away. And you could have gotten full aggression flipping up a new Doria. But uh, Man Eater bug. Wow. That's a really good side. Getting rid of Zoma and Man Eater bug with ease. Now, DB Grinder going to burn for. A thousand here. It does give him a three thousand attack lava golem to swing with, and it also gives him a target to parasite. You can parasite the lava golem. It's not bad. We get the shuffle with man eater bug. Sure. See if we can't set up the moth play. Um, we do have a full back row from Hefteft, so we probably have some book of moon set up, some cosmic cyclone set up. Breaker with a counter, immediate floodgate on that. One thousand defense. That'll be easy to clear. Yeah, we're going to, I mean, if we got it, let's use it. Looks like we're going to try and swing him for 3,000. This is technically lethal here. Heftep needs a response to this Lava Golem swing. We do have the Zoma. And, of course, DB Grinder's at exactly 3,000. So this is, uh, that's pretty good. On attack, Book of Moon Zoma. Sure. Ooh. Okay. On attack, Book of Moon Zoma. That attack goes through right to the face. That brings it to game three. Wow, it looked pretty convincing for Heftep there, but... Turned right around. These are both really good duels. Yeah, it's a good final so far. Really good, uh, really good interaction there. Even Grinder finishing the side, and we are in game three. The finals for number 20. Main phase on DB Grinder. Going first here. Big brain hand. True, yeah, half that stack is pretty trap heavy. Obviously, you got like Lava Golem's good side, but at the end of the day, without traps, you're relying on uh, Amazonas Swords of Winter Village, really. All right, break over the counter in a set. That's a pretty good start for a moth deck. Love to see break over the counter come out. Set monster. DB Grinder opportunity to normal summon another. Maybe it's an Adoria Kaiku Breaker. Get some advantage here. Yeah, agreed. 
I would say that that's an Adoria set because uh, he does want to get rid of Breaker without removing back row. So if that's an Adoria, you've done that pretty pretty uh, pretty well. And there you go. Breaker gone. He was hepped up the opportunity now set freely. Obviously, you can't avoid a uh, Cosmic Cyclone here, but uh, DB's got a fair share of offensive spells traps too with his omas. Village and Swordswoman. All right, here's the real turn. We had that little bait there, and now we're going right into the battle phase. 1700 attack Swordswoman into a set. Is this a Manier bug? Or an Udoria also? On attack, Cosmic Village. Bringing Swordswoman down to 15, most likely, and I think we probably have like a 16 booty. No, it is Manier bug. Oh, we're just also getting village done. Sure. DB grinder down to 3,000, but hitting the village is pretty good. You want to hit the village before Man Eater Bug takes Swordswoman, so then the village garbage doesn't keep happening. Yeah, Trainee is also nice. We saw Trainee in this deck. Uh, Trainee did work against, I think it was Ursus, but I haven't seen it yet in the finals. But Trainee is great. Trainee getting around Zoma by putting the bomb deck is super nice. Surprised we haven't seen it. Probably just hasn't drawn it yet. Main phase for Hep Death. Two sets and a set monster for DB Grinder down to one card. Can start a, yeah, maybe, I think we can start playing a little more aggressively, uh, not necessarily having to play around Parasite here, especially if we have the book set up. We are going to normal summon Dory and swing right into Yeah, it is a man in your bug. How about that? I think that uh, we must have already got the shuffle. Oh, and DB Grinder is full set here. All cards on the table. Oh, top deck to village. Okay. Oh, and a swordswoman. I was gonna say, is it? Uh, is that? Is that great? Yeah, with swordswoman, we can dig for gold here. We do have three cards in uh, Engrave. Have to just wait on response for the summon. Summon's okay. Yeah, we are going to take the gold. Get another card. It's looking pretty good for Half Death now. Love to have Village out there and keep getting uh, Amazonas out. So we do have one Banish. So we have one more Swordswoman, I believe, in deck. And if we are, if Trainee wasn't a side, then we definitely have Trainee also. I would assume we'd have more than three with, to run two Village. Battle phase going to the face down. Another man in your bug. Oh, that's ruthless. Is that? Yeah, that's two. Man in your bug taking out Swordswoman. Battle or card effect. There's the trainee. Let's go. This is going to hit any Zoma you try and throw out. Super smart for Heft up there. This is going to be 17 with Village, which would drop uh, DB Grinder down to, I believe, 12, 13. This is tough. You can block this with Zoma, but you just don't get the Zoma effect. It goes to bottom deck and training gets stronger, but you do keep your life points intact. It's, uh, it's, I would say it's not worth it, but I think that we're going to get in a spot of desperation if we don't uh, have the right option. Maybe we got a Nightmare Wheel? That was gonna, yeah, there you go. Same oh, Nightmare Wheel will be okay here. Now, especially since it's Hefdef's only monster, we got to run the top deck. If we top deck another monster, we're chilling. But um, Nightmare Wheel is looking good here. And it looks like we don't really have any immediate magic removal for it. Yep. DB's going to hard pass. We're just going to see how far we can get with this Nightmare Wheel. There's a Zoma, sure. Notice DB Grinder's also locked his back row for Parasite. All three spots are taken. So then it's like, do you burn a Zoma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. On declaration, floodgate on the Zoma. That's going to reset. Wow. Ooh. All of a sudden, we're looking at. Yeah, 
It's uh, yeah, it's gonna be 18. But yeah, I'm wondering, like, you free up Azoma and risk it getting trainee just so you have the spot open for Parasite. <laughs> Book of Moon. Also resetting Zoma. Not fantastic. Not bad. Just trying to figure out how to keep the life points. Stand by. Heptap going down to three. So they're technically tied. We do have a spot open for Parasite play now. We know that one of the back rows is Zoma for Heptap. Set. I can play Zoma there, sure. Get it right back out. Gonna try and swing in for 18 again. We will Zoma. Some clearing over Zoma? No, I don't think so. We're gonna wait. That's now down to 25 with the Nightmare Wheel going strong. thinking here on DB's uh, main phase. Two cards in hand. Setting a card here. Just one left. One in each hand. Looks like we're going to try and crash Zomas here. No damage. Response from Heptap in the back row potentially. No, that's going to go through. And phase Zoma. My god. We should ban this card. Main phase have to set Zoma in attack. We're gonna try and pick the 18 here. Yeah, the third Zoma. And oh wow, it's a Zoma. Oh my god. Okay, I get it. I get it. This is um I think that this is life torturing me because I didn't want to ban this. Yeah. <laughs> There's the Book of Moon on Zoma. Wait a second. Did we just floodgate and book the Zomas? You're saying we get to activate more Zomas this game? It's amazing. Oh my god. It hurts to see these books and, and floodgates being used on Zomas because you can just bring them back out. But wow, Heptap is getting down to 2,000 now. Five Zomas and 18 draws. Yeah, fair. Yeah, that's a lot. We, I forgot this was a moth deck. All right, we do have full set again with DB Grinder. Right. Nightmare Wheel still going strong on Trainee. We are going to Nightmare Wheel the uh, set here, and I think it's... What's your plan there? We got to... Trying to race each other down with the wheel. But uh, Heptap's on track to lose. Next turn, Heptap dropping to 15. Oh. Looks like Heptap ended the turn and then set the card. Looks like they meant to set the card then end the turn. Good thing DB Grinder is a total homie. DB's draw, one card, what do we have? And on standby phase, double Nightmare Wheel on the trainee. Drops Heptap all the way down to 1,000. Yeah, there's really not much that, that DB has to do. Just uh, let it let it ride. LOL XD indeed. What? <laughs> the <n> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed in the past, like, literally at the turn of the new year. 
all we've seen are Nightmare Real Zoma. Like, literally last week and this week. I don't know what changed. Nothing has changed. People just remember that these cards are here. People stop playing Magnets and Unions as much. Like, actually, is any of this from Battle City? Bloodgate, Zoma, Swordswoman, Nidoria, Village. The Book of Moons from Battle City. And, uh, no, Cosmic's not from Battle City. But, uh, oh, and Breaker. Book of Moon and Breaker, sure. Was it Breaker? Yeah, Breaker's Battle City. It's not match. Alright, so you got Book and Breaker, but literally everything else is, like, from older sets. End phase Zoma. Okay, main phase. Heft F down to 1,000. You got one more turn before you're dead. And this is game three of the finals. We gotta find an answer to these nightmare rules. We have to find some serious. Okay. We are gonna put. Okay. Book him with the trainee. Trainee's still uh, obviously double equipped with Nightmare Wheel. Yeah, the fact that Nightmare Wheel is not an equip is nuts. Yeah, seriously. Like, we have not literally... I don't think we've seen a moth this finals. Maybe we saw it in the game one. I already don't remember. And phase Zoma. Wow. Floodgate. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, are you kidding me? That's... This is crazy. Okay. So... I'm... I'm I want to understand the book on the, the trainee. Um... Heftep's just got one more turn. He's going to burn out. Oh, no longer attaches when you flip. Oh, okay. My bad. I thought the wheel stayed on. It just doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen wheel. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Because you can, you can wheel a set monster, but I guess if it gets reset, then you're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Ursus. So that was the out. Yeah, in that case, oh, man. This is pretty nasty for DB. Two sets, two spell slots you can't use. Uh, Swordswoman, oh, Trainee's 13, yeah. Um, and we know that DB's last set is the, it's the Zoma, right? Because it just got floodgated. Some a breaker? That's kind of clutch. Look, something from Battle City. We can pop the, uh, we can pop the Zoma. It's actually really clutch. Yeah, this is, it's kind of lame. Um, but I don't know. It, it, uh, I wouldn't say it drags the game out. It, it definitely gives more opportunity for a play, though. Big brain think. Yeah, it's game three of the finals. So You are going to pop something. We are going for the Nightmare Reel. I was wondering. I don't know. Zoma's a huge threat. Do you really plow through it and take 16? Or you, you plow over trainee? Or you flip? Oh. Do you flip? Is that man eater bug? No way he's got three. Zoma in main phase, okay. Oh, Parasite? Are we making room? No, we just want to set another. So we are making room. Okay. Pretty uh pretty scary field. Oh no! I was going to say, pretty scary field for DB Grinder, even with the two spell slots taken. But there's the Lava Golem. He's not out yet, though. But uh, Zoma makes it pretty convincing. Yeah, that was enough. Uh, he has three Maneater Bugs. Three freaking Maneater Bugs. 
Oh my god. There goes yeah, there goes Zoma and Breaker for Lava Gold. So Breaker blew the counter on the Nightmare Wheel. Unfortunately, doesn't look like it was the right call. Uh, yeah, because he's going to burn for a 1,000, and then nothing can... Good freaking God. No way. Does it say you can't? You cannot normal summon the turn you summon this card. Ah, so you can still special summon again. I think this is the first double Lava Golem I've seen. That's hilarious. So now you can't even, like, break her... Well, it doesn't matter. You burn for a 1,000 next turn, and then nothing can beat over Zoma. Whether it was that Zoma or the Breaker or the Lava Golem, you can't get over that Zoma. You're going to kill yourself. Yeah, I've never seen that either. Double Lava Golem? Because it's already a side card. And then to have both and have that opportunity, it's pretty sick. All right, DB Grinded done the last thousand here. And it's looking pretty good for Hefdef right now. We got a top deck. You got to see what we have. Obviously, uh, you know, I think the Parasite does well here. Any, any immediate removal of the Zoma um, for this lethal damage, and we're good. We can at least get rid of this trainee. Lava Golem going over. And do we kill ourselves? Oh, that's right, Village. Village brings out Swordswoman, and you take the battle damage. So Zoma can get over Amazonas. Um, Village is only once per turn, but you're taking three, and you burn. Wow! Hef Def taking it over, DB Grinder. 2-1 in the finals. Oh, Nobleman, we didn't see that. Darn. The double Lava Golem play. What a play. What What are the odds you see full board, two Lava Golems you sighted in, unless you main one? Two Lava Golems, you get one. I love I love the interaction with Swordswoman, though. It's so smart, because then you can, like, you can special summon in defense and then just poke at it, which is great. Yeah, <laughs> three man eater bugs. It's a little scary. Three man eater, three, three parasite, yeah. It's true. Three parasite, three man eater. Like, you should have seen so much more removal. It's just a little unlucky in that last game. But good stuff to have to have. Let's see if we got a bronze match. Uh, I, I'm sure we missed bronze. Ursus did take it over set five podcast in the bronze. Set five got all the way to uh, semis and a third place match with Magnet Warriors. Did not clutch it, unfortunately. Ursus with King of the Skull Servants taking third place so we do see king of the skull servants in top three but uh first place here half with amazonist burn interesting uh first place deck to see similar to last week we did see apprentice burn take first place uh with uh defeating a moth to get there and similar now we have amazonist burn taking first place defeating a moth to get there good stuff what a fun time thanks everybody for tuning in speed will showdown number 20 we hit number 20 seven entrance 38 bucks People getting paid today. Let's burn format. Yeah, we could do that. Digging is underrated because you think about how people love people loved Tribal Synergy. And Tribal Synergy was what? You draw a card by revealing Amazon's Harpy Lady and you draw a card if they're both on the field. Digging for gold is literally half that and the requirement isn't nearly as ludicrous. It's pretty underrated. It's nice. And these came back, I believe these came back in Battle City. I still have the promo ones from like the Trials of the Kingdom. But, uh, yeah, it's a good skill. It's a good skill. It's definitely the I don't know what to use skill. I'm going to use this, uh, which is great. But good stuff to have to have. First place, taking over DB Grinder. Uh, all right. Can we wrap this? Yes, tight hour and a half. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm, I'm exhausted. I had to travel home from New York City today and work. And uh, But we got some speed duel in there. Let's see if we got a raid. Um... Not really. I actually don't follow too much Yu-Gi-Oh, ironically. So I'll just I'll, I'll cut it here. I'm not going to dump you guys on some random stuff. So I appreciate you guys again for uh, chilling with me today. And uh, you can expect the VODs this week, of course. We'll do it next week. Every week we'll see what's going on. Win a box uh, 18 on Speed Duel League is going on right now. So if you missed it, we're going to keep doing them month to month. Uh, exclamation Discord, right? Join the Speed Duel League Discord. There's a link right there. Um, if you're not already in there, hop in there. We got the showdown every week. We have win a box, and we got a couple other things that we're cooking. But, uh, yeah, I'll end it there. Appreciate your support, guys, and I'll catch you later. See ya.